fan, I was walking down the aisle at the game and some fan goes, why would you torture yourself on your day off at the Cal game? He said, it's just like being an Arizona fan. It's, it's the exact same thing. It's like, they, they were, Cal's last Rose Bowl was 1959, maybe. It's crazy because, you know, they had Rodgers. I know, they've had some great players. But they um, also ran an SC. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Was, um, the 90s were kind of like that for Arizona. We, we kept finishing second in the Pac-10. We were really good. I think for the decade, we might have had the best cumulative record in the Pac-10. Didn't win once. We've never been to the Rose Bowl. It's a killer. Let's talk basketball. What do you got? How's Huck uh, Gavon doing after the uh, Yeah, Loon scrimmaged, and uh, I just talked to him. He said he felt good. So uh, he'll uh, continue to get more work in as the week goes on, and uh, hopefully he'll be ready to ready to go on Thursday night. Is there like, I think you said the other night, it's like it's this practice and there might be another practice that's going to decide whether he does play on Thursday. Is that still the case? Yeah, I mean, Everything went really well today, so we've got to see how he does tomorrow coming off the, uh, the his first scrimmage, really, of the year. And I want to put him through another scrimmage on uh, Tuesday. So we won't scrimmage tomorrow, but we will Tuesday, so we'll see. And how's Willie doing? I see he was on the court uh, after this. Willie did some uh, non-contact stuff, so did Alec, but it was all um, uh, just light. No, no physical contact. So Willie's not going to play Thursday night. Alec, I th suppose there's a chance Alec could be out there. Is, is Kavon, like the starting center on Thursday if he's available? Like, uh, I, I think that's that would he would probably would be, but I'd probably do it based on matchups. Um, you know, from game to game. We just we we lack size, obviously. You know, with Willie and Loon out, so if we get Loon back, um, we'll probably look at the other teams' lineups and see what makes the most sense. Uh, what was today? I mean, it was just like pretty, I assume pretty hard. Practice. Yeah, it was a great practice. We, uh, you know, we have we have to do so much more this year than we've done in the past, and. Uh, so we had a really good day of practice, breaking down defensive uh, schemes and, and different looks that we're going to see uh, that we have to guard game in and game out, just basic NBA actions. Our young guys have to get as many reps as they can. So we got a lot of good defensive reps, and then we, we had a good, really good scrimmage. And uh, so high energy, good focus, guys had fun. It's a great practice. No, no more clarity, but he, he has, at least was out on the floor. So that's a good step. Not necessarily. I mean, I, it's, uh, he'll, he'll just continue to progress and hopefully, and, and then when he's ready to scrimmage and, you know, do live stuff, he'll do that, and then, it, then we'll go from there. How hard is it for Willie, considering that he's a new guy, and you know he is out for this extended period. How how hard do you think the learning curve will be for him? Just with this. Offense? Yeah, I mean it's it's disappointing that he didn't have the full training camp because he really could have used it. Same with Alec. You know, guys like Marquise and uh, Glenn are way ahead of Willie and, and Alec as a result of just being healthy. And uh, so they got to catch up. There's you know there's no no magic. Potion, so they just have to, to catch up and see what happens. Uh -huh. Not yet. Yeah, we got. We once the regular season starts, um, our practices will will change. Our young guys will probably come in before our normal practice. They've been doing that anyway. But once the regular season starts, guys like Draymond, Steph, D'Angelo, we're not putting them through a practice like we did today. Um, but we're still four days away from, from the season opener, so we needed a good practice today. 
once we get going, you know this, it's game every other day. And there's not a whole lot of time to really get you know, great work in for the older guys. So younger guys will have to do a lot of film work and, and some pre-practice stuff. Is there a benefit to having those next couple of days to start the season before they just start playing? No, it's good. I'm glad. We need it. We need it. Um, very helpful, and we'll get to see the Clippers on tape. Obviously, they get the advantage of getting a game under their belt, but, but we get a few extra practices, and we get uh, a chance to see them play live and or uh, you know on tape, and then uh, prepare from there.